Thanks for joining us again, lads. Now, this time, it's the last in the series of uh, my new SSL gear. Yes, it is, yeah. It's yeah. the glorious UF8. The UF8, yeah. The yeah. So, um, this model is the... The UF-8. The UF-8. The F again stands for fader, so it's, uh, it's an 8 fader. 8 fader, uh, yeah. Uh, unit, yeah. Much more than that. UF-8, oh yeah, much more than that. What do you think of the build quality? I think it's excellent. It is excellent. It is. Again, like the other two pieces that, 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 in the SSL you've got, it's built like a bit of battleship. It's it pure quality, it's all metal construction, metal face and a brushed aluminium, lovely... Um, look to that, and I the, think these are aluminium, you know, as well. well they, they might be actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, mean, I keep saying black, so, but the, the rest of the unit is a black metal um, bottom sides and back, etc. And it's not just a cheap press metal; it's substantial. It's, it it's heavy duty. It's yeah. it's quality. It's, it is, it's yeah. what you would expect from a company like SSL. You would really, yeah. And probably, uh, like you said, the the the, the fader controls, the top controls. Look, they probably are up alum, aluminium. Yeah. Um, and the only plastic really on it are, are the rotary controls. Mm. Um, and then the rubber buttons, which <coughs> basically everything has now, what, no matter it what does, you buy. Yeah. But it's a it's quality piece of kit. And, it is. You know, Let's get into it then. Let's it. get into it, yeah. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play your latest sig single again to, uh, to demonstrate it. Okay. And um, here we go. So... Uh, we'll start over in the top left. So we've got these layers. Not sure what they have to do with Cubase. No, no. And to be honest with you, um, I don't know what they do. I'm not, you know, and uh, I haven't assigned them anything to anything. Well, you well, can well, assign them to something. You can, yeah. What we should actually see, Ian, is that all these things don't um, pertain to any particular doll that we know of. No. So those ones that you say don't really have a function or much of a function in Cubase may be really active in something like Pro Tools or Logic. Might be, yeah. Uh, and other controls that are really active in Cubase here might be the same in a Pro Tools or Logic oh doll. God, they don't yeah. really have the same effect. Mm. But like you say, a lot of these unusable, or a lot of these that are not assigned to Cubase, you can assign to what you like. You can. So where, what I've got, uh, I've, assigned, I've assigned, I've got to get the right teeth in today, yeah. the quick buttons. So, the quick button number one brings up Cubase's mixer. Marvellous. Right? Let's just uh, get that fully lit there. Right, so that's, that's Cubase's mixer. You can turn it off again. Right? And then, let's say if we want to have a look at the channel controls on the roll and drums there, we can just press 2, and up that comes, channel settings for the roll and drum. Marvellous, yeah. This is all pertains to Cubase. Yeah, right. Yeah. Get rid of that. Uh, now number 3, what I'm going to do is solo a couple of things out yeah. just to demonstrate that number 3 clears the solo. So number 3, you've assigned it as all solos. Yeah. Well actually off. it comes default in oh, this way. Yeah. So all, all, all solos off. That's right. Marvellous. Marvellous. Yeah. The, to finish off, 360 button, that brings up um, the the controls to one for you to set your, uh, your, your door. Yeah. You can have another door in here if you want to. Yeah. And another one. Right. Yeah. I don't really know why. It, well, it's just, uh, my thought on that would be if in a professional commercial studio mm. um, environment, you get you get uh, engineers that come in to do a track. They're only using the studio, it's not theirs. Exactly. But someone makes them fit and use Pro Tools. Oh yeah. So the Pro Tools is already there for them. You want you to bring that up. That's right. You go in there, you hire it for a day. Not that you would, because you've got a lovely studio here. But you do. You go and Ian goes in. I, I use Cubase, no problem. Yeah. Layer one is Cubase. I think and that's what it is. I think yeah. it is. And then of course you could have, say for instance, they probably would have. Cubase, Pro Tools and Logic, I would think, on the layers. That is the three most popular doors, really. So here we've got the, the soft keys, which are pertain to everything on here. Yeah. Right? And you can assign whichever one. It could be a door command or it could be a keyboard macro. 
Oh, yeah. So you've got fade back one, fade back two, and up to eight, undo, redo. You can actually save the project. Yeah, yeah. Load the project. Be the project. Yeah, be the project. Yeah. Everything's configurable. Yeah. Uh, and you've got the quick keys down here. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it's uh, mixer, edit window, and, and uh, solo defeat, which is that, that comes as default. So that is one, yeah. mixer, two, edit window, and three, solo defeat. Right. So that's it, Ed. So now we can tuck that away. Yep. All right. I love this, Ed. Again, it comes, I'm going to push that back to the beginning, Ed. Um, this comes as, as standard as well. Brilliant, Ed. Not sure what send and plugins are. Um, and it's plug-in and channel. Not, not sure what these do, Ed. Yeah. Well, again, they might be configured for another door. Could be. Whatever, yeah. Whatever it is, but... But I, this, what this does, if you configure up in this corner here, um, on the uh, mixer window, and I've forgotten which one it is, I have to just demonstrate it. <laughs> you go up in here, Ed, yeah. and then you press this, and you can show, show all channels, and and then you can configure your own. So I've got all yeah. guitars, vocals, and drums. All right. Now, you see that, Ed? I right? see that. Now, if we now press two, we'll get guitars. So these, these you've never seen these to protect the groups then? Particular Vocal groups. groups, drum group. That's right. Uh, guitar group. Yeah. Marvellous. So if you sit in there, you want to just mix the guitars, you just sew all these out, and then it's just your guitars, Ed. Not you hear them come in there. And they're easy, it's easy to find then. Easy to find. Not one down a bit. It saves you having to scroll That's all right, the way along. looking through a whole mix. Yeah. Yeah. Scroll along. Yeah. You know what sections are in. Yeah. You know what you're doing. You just go to it and... Um, there it is. It's, it's just lovely. Yeah. And of course, on each of these channels, which I'll show you in a minute, you've got that lovely SSL plug-in sound. Yeah, yeah, you know, of the course. Strip sound. Yeah, that was annoying me as well. <laughs> yeah. What are we? Wrote away, yeah. <laughs> now then, Ed. Yeah. So, let's clear that. Now we've got just the vocal. Yeah. Now can you see on the screen as well, Ed, yeah. that Cubase's mixer is showing us exactly what's going what's on here as well. Yeah. 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 Watch as I change it. Number one, that's all channels. All channel, yeah. Number two is guitars. Group, yeah. And number three is vocals. And I think I've got drums on for. So how's that sound? I think, I think you have. I think yeah. I saw that on the. The menu you had dropped from. I always, I always drop yeah. the the bass in with that because it's part of the percussion group. So I like well, to yeah, sort of do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Marvelous. So there you yeah. go. Yeah. Now then, Ed, we've got um, read and write controls. As I say, yeah. I don't know what these do. I don't use them. I haven't assigned them. You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. But I, I haven't. There's no need to. I mean, it's so lovely the way it is. Yeah. Now if we, if we select. Um, uh, let's go back to our vocals. Solo it. Yeah. Now then, can you see along the top here, Ed? Yeah. We've got we've got effects, EQ, strip, oh, yeah. instruments. Now, if we press this now, Ed. Oh yeah. So your effects illuminates now. That's right. On. The, oh, I see. Now let's let's get to a bit another bit of vocal. I see, yeah. And play Which it. Road do I choose? You can actually take to the send to the reverb up, up and down up from and here. Down from there, yeah. Excellent. Which is absolutely marvellous, Ed. That is actually it is excellent. marvellous, yeah. yeah. Now so, these the other the others obviously the EQ. Now I don't touch this because we're using uh, the SSL's SSL. channels, so I'm not using Cubase channels, but what this actually does is that it, the EQ here allows you allows you to mani manipulate so Cubase's like, EQ. Yeah, so like this is on EQ1 at the moment. It is. If I was to move that, would that... Can oh, you see it moving? I can see it, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that, that's terrific. Terrific. Yeah. And it, I'll take that back to you. Yeah. You, if you pre I think you have to press it. Uh, yeah, to go. make it active. There yeah, but if I now turn it... I mean, that's that's amazing. It is, it is. I mean, so the SSL, not only is it great on its own, for, for what it is, it's totally integrated 
And into Cubase. Into Cubase, yeah. It's as if, really, uh, Cubase, and, well, it's as if Cubase is now SSL. It's ex exactly. Or, or SSL is now Cubase. That's they, right. They, they're, they're just totally married together. That's right. Excellent. So, now go back to pop. So, that's that. Clear all the solos. And yep. Let's reset your song again, Ed. Um, yep. Let's get rid of that. Bring it back to the beginning. Uh, show all the tracks. Select the drum track, and then we'll do that there. We've already got it selected. Yeah. Now, notice on the screen, Ed, yep. when I press read, yeah. the green light comes up, yeah, and when I press right, the book, yeah. the, that, that one comes up. So you just select the channel, do what you want with it. Yeah. Um, not sure, trim, latch, touch, not sure about those. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if you press them, they don't even light up. So I assume that there's no, that they're not applicable in this no, situation. No. No. Right, so that's that covered, Ed. Yeah. Um, this is, we've covered the, the, the inserts there. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is pan for each channel. Default's that way. Yeah, yeah. You can hear the groove, the groove drums yeah. being panned there. Oh, yeah. yeah. All left, all right, yeah. 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 Marvellous. Then you've got the B pots um, over here on the soft keys. Um, if you want to, if you haven't got the UF1, you can use this oh, I see that. as a transport see control. That. A transport look at that. No, look. Rewind forward. So, yeah, excellent. <laughs> yeah. What more do you want, Ed? Again, it's all under your hands, Ian. Yeah. Which is a great way. I mean, I don't work like at home, obviously, because I don't have all this stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally in the box. I'm totally out of my box. Yeah. But I prefer this, and mm. I'm sure you do, mm. because... Let's face it, you're an audio engineer, an audio mixer. Mm. You use your ears. You, don't, you, you could be blind, ears, you could yeah. be Stevie Wonder, or any, yeah, any well, guy like that. Yeah. And, and you could still mix, mix yeah. with your ears. Yeah. But when you don't have this, you're forced to look at the screen and use a mouse and point mouse and drag and point. things. Yeah. And that's not really intuitive. No, I'm going to I'm gonna so. make another point here while you said that. And I'm glad you said that. Ed. Let's, uh, let's just see if we can find... Now, there's some nice effects, what's it's down here, and uh, where are we? The glow, that'll do, and that'll do. Where's the glow? Let's, uh, let's bring up the glow, what's it's. Now then, Ed, you talk about control, yeah. right? Can you see, right, the focus button? The, um, the focus button. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Press that. Move over to your favourite knob. Yeah. Now adjust this. Watch this, Ed. That's terrific. <coughs> Look at that. Uh, uh, yeah. Now you're talking about now you can you can close your eyes and you and can listen, make fine adjustments without looking at the screen. Talking about fine adjustments, right? There is a fine button. Yeah. Um, somewhere. Yeah, that's him here. That that. Yeah, fine. and then you can actually make even smaller adjustments. Yeah, more in smaller increments. Smaller yeah. increments, yeah. yeah. It's marvellous. Instead of just going, you know, this doesn't work on glow, but it would do, because oh, this no, is, yeah. I think this has got uh, rigid, rigid selections. Rigid yeah. 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 So, lovely. I mean, I just I, I just love that. The, the channel uh, selector is obviously um, what you would expect. It, yeah. it, scrolls, it scrolls to each channel. To the channel you want, yeah. Only on the desk, though, it doesn't yep. affect Cubase, no. right? Um, yeah. Which is great, because you can sort of leave that, recording a vocal while you're chasing while you're through here, yeah. you know, adjusting something else. Yeah. Love that as well. Yeah, excellent. And um, now I'm going to go and show you the... Um, the uh, what I have to do, in this case, retrospectively, because we recorded this and then we upgraded. Yeah. What I had to do... If we can bring this up here, like, and what I had to do is put one of these on, yeah, every channel, and then completely flatten and take all the effects off Cubase's insert channels to allow, to allow hey, SSL SSLs. Shows. Yeah. That's right. Now, if you have a look at the um, the 360 now, and we go into the desk. This is the virtual desk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can see, yeah, I've got a mixture of all three of yeah. SSL's desk throughout, yeah. from the 4000 to the most modern one. Yeah. And you've got two versions of the 4000. That's right. You've got the dark one there, which is the G console. Yeah. And then the lighter one, which is the E console. Mm. And I believe the other one, 
I'm not 100 percent sure, but I believe the other one might be the 9000, which is the later console. But you have to. I think this defaults to that one. Yes. Uh, and if you want the E, you have to press that. Yeah. 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 And again, um, on on the uh, the U C what's the U C one? The U C one. There is actually a button there that represents that. That, yeah, right. So you can, and there is a definite tone difference. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's nice actually to be able to mix them up in that way because you get a nice balance of um, or, or range. So if it's something like, uh, if the, <coughs> excuse me, if the if the four thousand series sounded nicer on vocal, yeah, then you can just have that one one slot there from the four thousand series yeah. and use, you know, you, you you've got this flexibility. Uh, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. So, Ed, um, yep. that in basically is that for yeah. the the uh, use. Have, have you got anything else that you want to add, Ed? Um, on, no, um, I think you've just about covered everything. To mm -hmm. be honest with you, um, I mean, I noticed there's a couple of uh, little other buttons, but they, you know, you could explain them. But maybe they're selfish plans for you. Like, well, these, I mean, yeah, nav I'm, and nudge, nudge buttons. I'm not really too sure. Perhaps, perhaps if you, if you know what that does. Slot it down in yeah. the uh, in the what's it's below. Yeah, but um, it must do something because it lights up. But and it's probably again maybe it's maybe we know what focus does, but we don't know what yeah. nudge does because nudge isn't it's not active. Up. Yeah. The the one thing I haven't uh, I, one thing I haven't done, but this is applicable I think to all the units is the way that you can scroll up and down Cubase like that. Yes. And then you can stretch. Horizontally, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can Thank stretch you. vertically. That's marvellous. Like that. Seems marvellous. Let's get back to our out, our outro now, Ed. And, well, we can uh, do now. We'll summarise. We'll, we'll summarise. Bloody right. marvellous. Marvellous. Well, Ed, it's good, isn't it? Again, same quality, same build quality, functionality. Built little pr I mean, it's SSSL. And, I mean, what more can you want? You've got the whole shebang there. You've got a desk on your desk. Mm. Um, albeit it's not the big grand 96 channel one, but you haven't got the room for that anyway. No. Even if we used, went from the end of the bedroom, then it stays, your bedroom still isn't big enough mm. for that. But anyway, what you've got there is that. It's that. And you've got the fader port, um, which is the full control functionality. You've got the eight fader port, which is all the channel, mm. blah, blah, and the, the universal controller, and yeah. it's, it's just incredible. It's lovely. I stuff. just think it's wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, I am. I'm still buzzing about it, and I've had it what over a month now. Oh yeah, well I think you'll be buzzing about that for a long time. A long time. Because as yeah. you use it, I expect that you'll find more functionality in it. Mm. and more things that you like That's and it, more yeah. usable. Oh, well, what really made the difference to the studio is this. Oh, his mix has jumped to another level. Another level. Yeah, there I it mean, is. Forget the SSL. And yeah, the forget all anyway. that, yeah. That, mouse, but, that, that, that brought the mix. mix we call up. it yin and yang, It's a yin we? and yang mix, mouse yeah, side, yeah. it's bloody yeah. marvellous. There's somebody yeah. on YouTube that will recognise that. There is, yeah. So yeah. if you know somebody, one of these, put it down in the comments. We're waiting for him to write and say, you're a pair of stalkers. That's it, pair of stalkers, yeah. But anyway, that, that aside, guys, come on, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. And if you like the... Um, what we're putting up in the content and everything like that, so obviously subscribe it. If you like it, give us the thumbs up as well and the likes uh, thing. And guys, come on, please hit the notification bell, bite it, scratch it, headbutt it, sit on it, burn it, kick it, drown it. Yo, know, do what you like with it. Or even press it with just a little finger, right? Mm. You your pinky. In pinky, fact, you can yeah. press it with your nose. Nose, yeah. Or get somebody else's finger and press it. Nose, you know. yeah. But whatever you do, come on, guys. And if you like what we're doing, even if you don't like what we're doing, we like to chat, we like to converse. Mm. Get any of the comments below, guys, and let's banter back. There's not another channel like this, you know, with a pair of old daft buggers I've like got, us ranting away. You know, trying to do something we no. know what we're doing. Oh, no, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, do that, you know, and you'll be comment, and we'll get back to you. We will. He certainly will anyway. We will. And I yeah. will when I can get around to you, but yeah. he's the main stalwart. I am, yeah. Running the channel, so if you like, as the administrator. Yeah. Him, yeah. What are we doing next week? Um... Next week, um, I think it might be the 12 string. 12 string, yeah. Um, I've got a, a new pot there, yeah. um, which you'll see. I've already mm. done that. That's already in the can, but that'll mm. come up after these. So, yeah, it's in the pipeline. There. It's in the yeah. pipeline. So that's got for coming up as well. And I've got another purchase coming um, tomorrow. You're always buying things. And this one, this one's rather nice. Mm. This is something a bit different again. Yeah, yeah. Tune in for that one, guys. I, yeah. In fact, tune in for all of them. Yeah, tune in for all of them. See you next time. Yeah, ciao, guys. Yeah.